All right, today's the day. Let's see how they do with the wind. Back to Camp Geeks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back with another stove review for the MSR Windstopper, the Primus Light Plus, and the new Jetboil Flash. And while we've done a few different tests in uh, how fast they can boil water, how fast they really are, how energy efficient they are, and of course the energy efficiency was on their own fuel types, I might actually do another video where I do the same fuel type on all three of them to measure how much uh, fuel they use. However, this has been one that I've really wanted to do and today was actually a windy day, so I was like, oh, I'll do it outside. That's what I'm waiting for. I want to do it out in an actual native environment. However, in doing that, because of gusting and stuff, it's not going to be very accurate because it may be windier for one stove than the other. So back inside, and I'm going to do it right here exactly like we did before, but this time with a fan blowing on it. And I'm going to put it on its lowest settings, which is going to be a pretty substantial wind, to be honest. Um, and I'm expecting times to vary substantially so i've already put exactly the same amount of water in 444.3 grams uh, so i put all three of them measured about uh, zero tear the actual thing and put the exact same amount of basically about two cups of water and uh we're gonna see what happens so we have basically the maximum amount of water you're supposed to put in there i guess technically although um it's I think uh, the MSR, you can put more water in than the other two, to be honest, because it is a larger canister. Uh, but the other two, that's kind of maxing these guys out. So let's get it ready. We'll start with the MSR as always, and we'll end with the flash, and uh, we'll see how she goes. So I've got the iPhone ready, strap launch at zero. As soon as I get the stove on the actual, or the, the pot on the stove, then we'll do it. But with the MSR, it is a two-step process, unlike the other two. So I'm going to go in here, and actually... We're going to get the fan going first. How hard, hard is it to start in the wind, you know? Oh, she goes. Alright. She is on full blast. And uh, we'll probably fast forward a little bit here. Oh yeah, she's warm. That's it. She's rapidly boiling. I was maybe a little bit light on that, but she's definitely going. So the MSR wind burner comes out with a good strong start. Two minutes, 25 seconds, 41 milliseconds. So we got the Primus here. I'm gonna, I have it in the exact same spot. I have not moved the fan. It's as close, as accurate as I can be. Just wanna make sure I have my hands on the right spot here so I can start that as soon as it gets going. Let me get the fan going. All right, here we go. We're at full blast. And we're all on our way. All right, we'll call that a rolling boil. She's definitely going now. The MSR whooped the Primus, but there's no wind guard on this, so it's one thing to keep in mind. Okay, so we have the jet boil ready. Let's get the fan going. We're low. Okay, starting, we'll start the clock. We are there. Okay. So, 
there it is. The The test doesn't lie. They have the exact same amount of water in. The water was the exact same temperature, and all three stoves were in a cold shutdown, haven't been turned on for days. Running their own fuel, I understand that, that they all do have their own pr their own different fuel on it, and that could be a slight change between there. But the wind, uh, the MSR just annihilated the pack i mean there there is no comparison when we're talking about in windy situations which one is the one you want yeah that that here's the funny thing the previous test i did with with efficiency was roughly the same amount of water a uh, small amount of difference i understand um the, the msr came in about the exact same time it did with my previous two cup test um i understand there were slightly different grams but 225 and 223 that's so essentially what it means is wind does not affect this stove which is amazing uh the primus back of the pack way back and even uh, and i i can honestly say that i stopped it thinking it's a pretty rolling boil but i don't think it was as, ro ro as rolling as the msr was you could definitely tell when i turned off the stove the msr just kept boiling and both the jet boil and the primus as soon as i turned off the stove they didn't just keep boiling they kind of started settling down real quick so uh this got it really hot really fast and stayed hot really really fast um so the previous two cup test roughly was about three minutes 11 seconds and this one it was 531 so over two almost two and a half minutes longer with the addition of the wind the jet boil which rocked it without any wind uh we were at a minute 55 so we were sub two minutes with this guy with the two cup test and now we're almost four minutes so it doubled the time to boil water in the wind um like i said i'm not saying which one's the best one and which one's the one you should definitely buy however if you are in a windy situation i think it's pretty obvious because it's almost not affected at all by wind the only one that i had that i had no trouble starting was that basically it you cup your hand around it, you start it. Once it starts in the wind, and this is actually why I turned the fan on before I lit the stove, was to say which one actually can start in the wind. Um, the one I almost had the hardest time with was the jet boil. Um, uh, off camera, I actually tested all three of them in the high fan setting, and the jet boil just wouldn't stay lit no matter what I did. Off, off, off. Um, so that was something to keep in mind as well. Um, now, Let's be honest. If you're going to be cooking in the wind, you're going to have your stove, you're probably going to find some kind of windbreak going on the long side of a rock, a tree, something in the vestibule of your tent, uh, something that'll safeguard the wind. And that's going to obviously modify the settings real quick. But this is a bare bones, how do these stoves do in a really windy situation? The, the there's, There is no contest. So, uh, yeah, the MSR. But that said, if you have any questions for me, or you think that I did this test in a very BS way, let me know below and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have an idea of a really cool test, please let me know, comment below, what do you think I should do to really see which one is better in different scenarios. Um, like I said, I, I wouldn't mind doing one with the same gas canister on all three stoves to see which one is better. Uh, or more efficient, I guess, more than anything else. Maybe this even that if that changes the times. Um, but yeah, so pretty awesome. They're all three great stoves, and you can choose for yourself. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for commenting. Please subscribe. Want to get the subscribers up so we can actually start creating more content. And uh, I want to say all thank you, a really big thank you to all my subscribers out there. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any other questions or comments or if you have any recommendations. So until next time, we'll see you soon.